Welcome everyone. As you can tell from the title of this video, it's going to be uh, an interesting one, potentially for a lot of people, um, with where I'm going from here and what my plans are and what my thoughts are. Um, and so a lot of things I'm going to talk about in this one, I've probably mentioned over the course of other videos and not just the last ones where I kind of did a post ETC analysis, but you know, just stuff I've mentioned all throughout my journey of ninth age. And the reason it says semi-retirement is because I'm not obviously fully going to just stop talking and, and playing altogether. But as of right now, um, my mindset is more casual, I guess you could say, if that, um, and we'll go over reasons why and what my thought process is. And, and obviously on the screen right now, I have what I consider the four pillars of, of my state of mind or, the, or what I think, or the four pillars of this conversation and how it pertains to me um, moving forward. And so I want to preface a lot of this video with saying, this is really just where I'm coming from at the moment. Um, it's not meant to be downer per se, you know, I'm going to have some negative things that I'm feeling, um, and it's going to have some positive things and it's just meant to be how I feel. And, uh, hopefully I cover things as I talk about it. So, um, you know, like I said, ETC is always a big thing. The USA scene, ninth age, the game itself w without the other parts and then the community of team 9A. And so... What I'll probably start with actually is the game itself. So, you know, it, I think Ninth Age is a great game. Um, I've played 8th edition, 7th edition, 6th edition. I played Malifo. Um, and then I played Ninth Age. And yeah, I played a smattering of little things here and there, 40k when I was younger, but. 7th edition I went to an ETC, 8th edition I went to an ETC, Malfo I went to an international tournament. So as far as like, you know, that level of play, those are the games I've played. And then obviously Ninth Age. I mean, Ninth Age is a great game. I, I really think they did a good job with how they kind of came from 8th to 9th. Um, I know it's a very complex game. And I don't think there's a really great way around that. And I don't know if there should be a really great way around that. So I will come from it and say, I, I really don't believe the game is going to get big. Um, maybe you'll get some people here and there. Maybe I, I, I don't have any expectations on this game becoming huge. Simple as that. And, and part of it, you know, when we get to the other parts of this conversation, some of it's going to be about in USA. Um, and that'll be some of the other reasonings I give. But I just don't see it ever being a huge game in the USA, at least compared to the other ones, which are much bigger. Like AS is huge. I'm pretty sure Kings of War is bigger than Ninth Age. Um, and that's fine. I've, I, I accepted that when I started playing what 2019 so three it's been about three years maybe a little le over three years that i started playing ninth age again uh and i've never had this glory that it's going to be the next big thing that everyone plays but it had a lot of people who i met playing eighth edition etcs and i wanted to see them again and so i came in to ninth age three years ago with the mindset of i want to go ttc again it's been a while i you know i miss kind of warhammer um and how hard could it be? Like, how I, was I good enough to just get back to ETC in this semi-different game from 8th edition, especially after being gone for three years? So that was the goal. The ETC was always the goal. And Ninth Age, you know, it, like I said, it's very complicated. I've spent a lot of time learning the rules, the intricates, ins and out of it. Um, and so I am kind of... One reason this decision or this was kind of hard is because I am so ingrained in the game. You know, I, for the last, you know, I've run the discord, I run the online tournaments. I'm very like, it's, it's what I've done every day during work. I talk in the discord. And so, um, it's such a big part of, of my day usually. So 
this isn't like a, a really a big harp on the game. I think the game is well made. I think it has its plus and minuses. Um, I think it's very deep in its sense. And I also, you know, I also think it can be pretty boring sometimes. I mean, let's be, I mean, to be frank, it, there are matchups and play styles that make for extremely boring games that I do not find fun. And I think what bothers me the most about it, and this was still true in 8th and 7th, so it's not like ninth Age just prom. I think what bothers me the most about it is, let me think how to put it. I, I feel like, like you can only do so much if the other opponent doesn't want to play the game. And I wish there was more of an agency. Um, I'm trying to think how to say this. I, I'll give you an example with Malifaux was a better example, probably. Malifaux had different scenarios and different schemes, and different ways to win. And the spread really didn't matter that much. It's not not the level that like, you know, it was basically win loss draw. Spread meant a little bit, but and because of that and because of the way it was set up, like you couldn't win without doing stuff. And so if I just put all my models in a corner, I was just going to lose the game, and that was it. Now there's things you could do depending on the scenarios and stuff that you could try to tie it pretty easily and make it not super interactive. But it's not to the same level as Ninth Age where it's like I sit in the corner in secure target and I sit on my target. And if you don't want to engage me, we're going to get a 9 to 12 points. It was like win-loss. And, you know, if somebody's going to give you the win, you take the win and walk away. The spread didn't really matter. So I feel like that part of this game bothers me. And obviously I know it's a thing and I've been playing it for three years and I've seen it um, happen a lot. It's just, and it happens at ETC even more. And it's just, it's just kind of, eh. It kind of takes away a little bit from me. Like the the excitement. It's just, I kind of shrug my shoulders and go, okay. It's also a very long game. So you put those two together and it can be kind of shitty. Um, it does take a long time to play this game. Um, it's one thing if you're going to a weekend tournament and really, whether you play for three hours or, or three and a half hours per game doesn't really matter because you're getting three games one day, two days, two games the other. But, you know, if I'm playing to practice on a weekday or on a weekend morning on UV or Warhol, it's just a grind and it's it's a it's a slog. And, and, and I've been, I, it was great during the pandemic. But nowadays, it's a little more harder to get that time, especially with the kid. And it's not just getting the time. It's like, do you want to spend the time playing a four and a half hour, five hour online game? So that's kind of my opinion there. I, I, I do think it's a great game. I think they're they're moving in a good direction. I'm excited. I mean, I'm still excited to see what the updates and stuff bring in the new book. But the game, so the game isn't really what's pushing me as much away, even though I do think some of the shit is very boring to play against. And it's not just like, oh, there's one matchup that sucks. It's like, there's there's a good bit of games that I don't fully enjoy. Um, so that's the game aspect of it. Uh, what's the next one to go to? Probably the community. I like the community. The community is great. I mean, the online community is great. I talk to a lot of different people. Um, from all different over, across the world, especially running the events. And then there were some downsides of running the events with people arguing and having to do TO type stuff. Like I don't mind like setting up the tournaments and doing all that kind of stuff, but the, some of the conflict and like bitching between people was really like draining. Um, but I do love the community. Most of the community, I mean, the forums are a little bit bitchy, uh, but the, for the most part, I think the, T90 community is something that I enjoy. I enjoy being in the Discord, and they kind of keep me going a little bit. Um, I do think it's a little fractured now for the online play, um, just because of Warhol versus UB, but that's here nor there. Um, in fact, probably a better way to continue this conversation is, is to say ETC has always been the goal for playing this game. 
And so if I lose that goal, then I have less, way less reason to play this game. I don't really play this game casually. I mean, I will go to a couple events, but I don't like, it's either all in or, or very mild for me. Like, I mean, they're going for it for ETC or I'm like, whatever, I'll play a couple games if they're around me. And so, you know, I, I had the goal. I became captain. We went. We did fine, in my opinion. We I, I didn't do well. This is not based off my individual performance at ETC. I I think it was kind of, it maybe reinforced the decision I had probably made before I went where I knew I wasn't going to be captain again. I definitely wasn't going to be captain again because that was a horrible experience, to be completely honest with you. And then I had already been kind of like, am I really going to want to play after ETC again? Um, and I wasn't sure. And then I went and I was like, probably not. <laughs> uh, again, this is not to... If, if, if you haven't gone to ETC or if you're want to go again and you're on my team or, or just any country, you know, I, I fully support you going out for it. It's a great experience. Um, it's fun. It's something unique. You probably haven't tried before, especially if you're from the States. Um, but just given my background and what I wanted, it did not fully fulfill that. Now it did do it on the, like talking to people side, like the, the social side, but that is not enough to draw me back. Now, I think you guys, I know some of my fans are USA and some of my subscribers are not. The one thing you guys got to remember is this is a very big commitment, time, money, and time everyone practices. So I time, but like distance, time off work. It took, you know, I was gone 10 days from my family and my kid and work. You know, it costs a lot of money, probably three to four to five times what the average European plays. Yes, there are Canadians and, and New Zealand guys who pay a lot of money. So, you know, I, 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 I have it. I mean, it's not like I'm going broke because of ETC, but it's still a factor where you're like, oh, shit, this is this is like a big investment to go over there. Um, and, you know, to a lot of European countries. ETC is like a short holiday that takes like five days or six days and costs like, I don't know, less than a thousand euros. I mean, that's like me flying to California, right? And there's a big difference in, in a lot of the aspects of ETC because of that. And so it has to be something um, more than just, yeah, if, if ETC was, you know, five hours away by car or six hour plane ride for, for thousand dollars. Yeah. It'd be different feeling of like, Ooh, do I want to go back? Like that part would be much different. Of course, it's also in the fucking hottest month of the year in third world countries. It seems like I know it's a joke or whatever. They just don't have AC and it was miserable. It really was like horribly miserable over there. Like it's a 10 day vacation where it sucked to like live there. Like the sleeping was bad. And of course the people were great, but it just wasn't very, yeah. So it had some downsides for sure. Um, I don't remember being like that when I was younger, but it was also eight years ago when I went to my last one. So maybe I just had a higher tolerance of that kind of crap. Um, and so, you know, but even after ETC, I was like, oh, you know, I could do it again. I could survive the heat and stuff. You know, my kid will be older. My wife would probably come with me. Um, Blah, blah, blah. And you always have that thought of, ooh, maybe I'll do it again. And I think what really cemented, at least for the time being, I'll reserve the right to go back on this, but the for the time being, what really kind of cemented my decision is the USA scene. And so this was the analogy I've been using. Um, it feels like Training for ETC is like I'm training to be a bodybuilder in a home gym with three dumbbells. And most of the other countries are training at the same gold gym. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, 
look at the the WTC event that sold out in like seven hours, 160 people, however many teams, a bunch of teams, right? From all over the country. Like there's like four German teams, Polish teams, Belgium teams, stuff like that. We don't have any of that. We're too far away from Europe, let alone like ourselves, you know, we're too far away from ourselves, let alone Europe to kind of get that kind of practice. You know, I was talking to some Polish guys and they're like, yeah, we have big tournaments every month or two. And like Poland is like four hours across by car. I mean, I consider a two hour drive close, let alone like, you know, and I only get like a 30 man event if I drive two hours. Hell, if I fly to California for the money most people pay for ETC, it's only going to be 40 people, maybe half of which, you know, at least like the WTC one is full of ETC caliber teams. You're only you, you might have there might be 15 to 20 people in America that are ETC caliber games that you'll get. So, you know, think of that where you're going to a tournament. And you might get two games, maybe three, maybe more if you're lucky. Depending, I've had some runs of three or four ETC guys, um, but that's it. And that and that is that is a real downer for me as a competitor. So you know, people might say, "Oh, did he lose a competitive drive?" That's why he doesn't want to go to ETC. And it's it's kind of not really that. It's kind of like I don't feel like it's fair. And, and fair in air quotes. Um, it's not fair in my mind. And it's just like, why do I want to put myself through this if I really can't get all I want to get out of it? You know, if, if I said, I want to go ETC today, I would probably get four to five events, maybe less in America, which will be mediocre practice, fine practice. And I'll get online games, which I already said, I'm, I take a long time. Not to mention, it was great during the pandemic when everybody had forced at home and we would play all the Euros. You know, I played a ton of Europeans, more than Americans, practicing for the CTC. And I don't think it would be the same this year around. More people, there's more live events. People are going, there's not going to be as many online events. Even if I wanted to run them, they were already kind of puttering off because of the Warhol UB debate, people having conflict. Um, because they had real events scheduled, stuff like that. And so from my point of view, I was just looking at it and saying, oh, shit, you know, we are really, you know, it's going to be very hard to prepare to the level that I'd want to prepare to. And it wouldn't be fun for me. And so why? I kind of like put my hands up and go, why would I really want to put the effort in, considering that's also like a lot of money and time to go? Um and that's really was the big, like that was, to me just made sense. Um, you know, I kind of did what I came to do. I came and went to ETC. I saw a lot of people, it, you know, to be frank, it, it wasn't that, <laughs> it wasn't that hard to be the top USA player, and, you know, to get there. I, I, of course we can, you know, I didn't perform the greatest ATC, but do I still think I'm the best USA player? Sure. Why not? Well, what, why wouldn't I think that I, even in the online, even in the European stuff that, you know, it's not like it's just beating Americans. I, I was doing well in online events as well. So I, I, it's not like, I feel like I lost that step on the people. It's just like, what, what's driving me, to play a ton of USA events. And this is not to shit on the USA guys. I like a lot of them. Um, and they've heard me say this and stuff. And it's just like, it's that, what what drives you, right? What drives me was working from the bottom to the top. You know, when Malifaux, I was new to the game. I worked from the quote unquote bottom, you know, trying to get better. And I enjoy that kind of ride. Um, and in T9A, you know, I enjoyed the ride. I enjoyed it. And listen, I'm not, I'm not out here saying I'm the greatest player in the world or even close to it. You know, I think the likes of like Scrub and Furion and stuff are, are much better, but I also see that like, first off the margins to get there are, or it, it it is what it, I don't feel like it. I'm not going to play enough to, to get there. I don't have the scene. I don't sure if I had WTC with a bunch of other countries all the time, and that's not only motivating, but that's a great practice. You know, you get to play live events where you get to play against 
lot of good Polish people and stuff like that in a ETC or like semi tournament environment, not just online, for example. And so I, I just don't feel like I have the tools or the will to play like a million games a week <laughs> of this game um, to get there. And so that's really like that. That's, that's just how I feel. ETC was great. I'd love to see the people again. The community is really what keeps me going. Like I still, even since ETC, even since knowing that I'd probably make this video and talk about this, I'd still been talking to people at ninth age. I still talk and chat and whatnot. And if it wasn't for the discord, I would probably easily, easily like just walk away and be like, I don't care anymore. Um, but I still want to be involved. And I still like the people. And so I, I really, really don't see myself trying out for the team next year. Um, like I'd put money that I don't, I'll still go to some local events, try to win them, see if I can. Maybe if I make masters, I'll go and see. Um, I mean, I, I could probably not play until this next event and be fine. It can't be that hard, right? That's what I always say. Can't be that hard. It has to work. Um, and I fully, like, I've talked to guys who are going to try out and we're on the team. And a lot of them know this before I even made this video. Um, and I told them how I feel. And I, I feel like they understand. And I and I've told them, I support you. I hope you go back out there and I hope you crush it. And, you know, I think you should go for it. This is a personal one. This is me and how I feel currently in my state of life, I guess you could say. Um, I kind of mentioned or, or hinted at what I was going to do in the meantime. Um, and so, like I said, I will go to some ninth age events that are local, which are a couple. Um, I have built most of an age of Sigma army. I've played like six games. I played a couple before ETC and, and afterwards I have. Um, just with friends who are nearby and it's, it's whatever. It's fine. It's, it's not ninth age. I'm never going to claim it's some like, I, I, it's not even worth it for me to compare the two because on one hand I have, even if ninth, let's just say ninth age is the better game, which it probably is in the long run. I have literally no one within an hour of me to play this game with. And the tournaments get, 30 people, 40 people maybe. And I'm definitely not flying to California to play this game for 40 to 50 people. Whereas, I mean, I, I have a, I have an Age of Sigmar event every week if I want to do with that gets 20 to 40 people for one day or 100 people for, you know, two day or Nova is, in, I'm not going to it. Nova's in two weeks. I think the, I think the ninth Age of Sigmar event's like 100 people. I have 10 people within an hour of me that play that I like that I'm like friends with, you know, there are people down the street. I just had a guy come over to my house the other day to play. It took two hours. It was great. Two and a half hours. whatever. And we didn't, I didn't even know the rules very well. So I kept looking up shit. Um, and sure. And there's enough little things to do that you feel like you're doing something. Um, and, and I think more so it's just something new, like, I'm kind of excited about it. I don't, I'm not good. Um, even if the game isn't as good from a ceiling perspective, there's still room to try it out and, and see if you can get better. Um, I don't know. I just like the journey. Now, now I could fair well see, you know, ask me in six months and I'm like, eh, I'm kind of tired of it because it's too easy or this doesn't fit my bill or something. I still don't think that changes my ninth day GTC opinion. I think I still am kind of waiting to see like what old world does and is there something that kind of, or maybe I get bored and I want to do it in 2024 20, or something. We'll see. I, I, who knows? I'm, I'm also probably going to try Kings of War because I have some friends that play it. It has a really easy online play because it's like, it's like, uh, it's UB and it's just faster. You can play by email and stuff. Uh, but I have some friends that play. I have some locals that play too. I might try a local tournament or something. Again, I, it, they're, they're not as deep. And and that's fine for me right now. 
I think it's deep. I'll put it this way. It's kind of deeper in a sense because I don't know as much. I know so much about Ninth Age and I've played so much in the last two years that it's like, what am I, there's just not a ton there for me to like draw me in as much. And, and the play style really is, as much as like you can talk and fantasize about it, there are some really fucking boring matchups in games. And I don't, and I don't enjoy it and I'm very open about it and I'm fine with that. And and there's a lot of people who've been playing for, and again, I think the scene is really the crux of most of my conversation. If we had a really booming USA scene, you know, sim, and, or the distance that like Europe has where like the Poles and the Germans and the Belgians can all play in this and the Swiss can all play in the same random tournament. Um, I would probably have a little, I would have a different opinion, but I don't live there and I live here and you know, this is what I have. So again, you know, I'm, if you want to talk to me about ninth age, I'm here, man. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be in the discord. Um, it's just, and, and who knows? Like I said, I, I, who knows, but that's really is how I feel right now. And that's, that's, that's just where I'm at. And I don't know. It feels kind of liberating in its own way. I know my, you know, Travis dropped out of ETC, Bergy dropped out of ETC, and I didn't want to at the time they did, but I, I definitely understood why they did and how they were feeling. Oh yeah, there's also Lord of the Rings. Sorry, it's another game that like Bergy is playing and a couple of locals are playing. So, so I have probably three games that I own either or want to play or own some of now. Um, I want to try them out and, and maybe the next year is just to kind of piddle around and, and see what I can do. And then, you know, to be fair, this is a nice time to do that kind of dad hammer stuff because obviously my kid Thomas is only nine months old. Um, and so, like I said, going super far for GTs is really not something I'm want to do. So having the local scene is really good. Having a good, you know, the easy online version of Kings of War has some potential and just being like faster and, and easier um, in the moment. You know, if I can come back after three years and get to the top, I I surely can skip a year and, and be fine at the game if something really draws me in in the future. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of how I feel. It was called semi-retirement. It's, uh, it's more just retirement from the ETC stuff. I kind of need a break from it. Uh, it. It was very draining. Not just playing, but all aspects of it before, after, during. It was it was a lot. It was a lot. And it's it's not something um I'm in the rush to do again. Uh and you know, like I said, I wish the USA team the best. It's gonna be tough. I mean, with the whole scene, it's gonna be tough. It's always tough. And but you know, I like the, a lot of the guys, and I hope a lot of them get back on. And I hope Caps, who's new captain, congratulations. Who I, I knew he was going to be captain probably when I stopped. Um, I hope that who picks some new guys, and I hope he picks a good team. And I hope, you know, no one's safe. That's all I can say. You know, you got to put the work in. And, and I know we had a lot of guys who put a lot of work in. And there's going to be guys biting for it again, especially since, you know, it was three years before we – when I came back, I was supposed to go in 2020 and then 2021. There was had the mini one I couldn't go to in 2022. So, you know, a lot of this was building up, you know, from two years ago. And now that we kind of settled back into it, I think the team's in a better spot structure wise um, and expectation wise. And we had four new guys who went. And I think they learned a lot. So now we have a pretty, even without Travis, me, Berge, um, I think there's still a pretty good pool of players who either have experience of the drive and, you know, we'll see what Caps can put together out there. But uh, you probably won't see me make a video for a while. At least not on this channel. I do. I, I can. I might consider if I get if I start liking the other games a bit more, I might put content out for that because I do really enjoy the. Here's my view, even though I'm not a good player yet thing like he, as i work up and stuff like i did it for malifo i I'll, i did it for ninth age and maybe i'll do it again for another game but hey who knows if you see me on discord feel free to say hi i'm still talking about games i still work from home all the same shit so 
it's just going to be a slightly different uh, mindset is probably the best word to put it. And I appreciate everyone who's been following me this far and, you know, all the support I've gotten and we'll see you around. I'm not going anywhere too fast. Thanks.